Developmental Disorders in Children Cerebral Palsy What is Cerebral Palsy, or CP? Cerebral palsy is a broad term that describes a group of disorders of development that primarily affect movement and posture. It causes limitation of activity and may be accompanied by disturbances of vision, hearing, sensation, cognition, communication and behavior, or symptoms such as tremor and seizure. What causes cerebral palsy? Cerebral palsy is caused by injury to the immature brain of a child before, during, or after birth as the child grows up. During antenatal period, maternal use of alcohol or illicit drugs, intrauterine infection, maternal high blood pressure, or placental complications could cause cerebral palsy. Prematurity, congenital malformation of the brain, hypoxic injury to the brain due to prolonged or complicated labor, bacterial or viral infections after birth can also cause cerebral palsy. Genetic factors are estimated to be involved in 7 to 14 percent of CP cases. Motor deficits of children with cerebral palsy often include delayed motor milestones, persistent primitive reflexes, abnormal muscle tone, for example, muscle tone being too high or too low, abnormal walking pattern, or early hand dominance. How to help children with cerebral palsy? The mainstay of treatment is to treat or reduce the increased muscle tone and associated complications and to promote function. Physiotherapy, such as stretching, can help to reduce spasticity and prevent contracture of the ankles. Physiotherapists will make use of different equipment to prevent contractures, enhance muscle flexibility and range of motion. They will choose suitable mobility aids to improve mobility of the child. Necessary equipment and communication aids should be provided at home and in school to facilitate daily communication and learning. Appropriate care should be given to these children and education for the children and their caretakers on the management of CP is crucial. Different children require different treatment, such as medication and surgery. Medication mainly aims to reduce spasticity and involuntary movements. Orthopedic surgery can be useful for correcting fixed deformities of joints. In addition, selective dorsal rhizotomy can reduce muscle spasticity by cutting certain nerve rootlets in the spinal cord. What is the outlook of children with cerebral palsy? If children are unable to sit by age two, unable to walk by age seven, they will have a poorer chance of gaining independent walking ability later on in life. On the other hand, if they have good head control by nine months old, sit independently by age two, or crawl at age two and a half, the chance for independent walking later will be higher. Children with cerebral palsy may have the following complications when they grow up, including musculoskeletal deformities and chronic pain, overuse syndromes of tendons, arthritis and degenerative changes, commonly over the hip, knee, ankle, lumbar and cervical spine. Active participation in therapy by the children and their families can prevent these complications. With appropriate treatment and support, people with CP are able to communicate effectively with others, benefit from education, participate in the community, and have appropriate employment. Therefore, early identification and intervention is very important to children with cerebral palsy.